Welcome to October's vlog. It is October the 1st and we are on our way to brunch. Our friends invited us to brunch at this restaurant that we were telling them, telling them about because we couldn't believe that they hadn't gone there yet to experience it because it's definitely an experience. So we're heading to brunch today, me and hubby. He was not going to come because he was going to go watch football, but the Falcons played already. Did they win? They went all the way over there and didn't win. Guess that's a yes. Later today, we're gonna go to a Brazilian steakhouse. So that's kind of what's on the agenda. I filmed a video this morning and I couldn't edit it because we're going to brunch. And then when I get back, I think I may edit it and publish it. And then by that time, it's probably gonna be time to go to dinner because it's in a nearby city. So we'll have to leave a little bit early. I did do my nails yesterday, by the way. I did them last night. They look pretty good. I'm getting better at, and better at polishing. Polishing used to whip my behind, but I'm getting better at it. So anyway, we're heading to brunch. I will check in with you guys later. City of how I love, how I love. Don't do as I do, but they're so good and so, so composed of things that aren't bad, minus the caffeine. I don't consume caffeine that much. Um, just because of the things that I naturally consume, but I tried one of these at the gym. They are by, they're called Rainstorm. Now my favorite is actually the orange one, which is I think Harvest Peach, but I don't have any, so I have these. In my head, I'm going to stop drinking the, these after I finish this one and the other one that I have, which is great. I've tried all of them, I like them all. I prefer the peach, but you know, they just, they have no sugar, three grams of carbs. They have vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin B6, biotin, Vitamin B12, chromium, zinc, pantothenic acid. <laughs> oh, just, it says in parentheses, vitamin B5. Can we just call it that? Anyway, it has a lot of good stuff in here, but I would have to imagine that it has some not so good stuff in here, like caffeine. I looked up how much caffeine is in here, which is the equivalent, I think, of about a cup of coffee. So, since I don't drink coffee or consume caffeine really otherwise, then I've been rationalizing these, but they're so good. And I've been decorating for fall, so look at my little pumpkin coaster that I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year. Anyway, today is Tuesday, October the 3rd. I don't have a plan for my life, so I've just been winging it. And I have no idea really which way is up and which way is down. So we're about, to, this is saying I have zero minutes left on my memory card. I'm gonna have to delete some things and come back. Hold. And we are back. By the way, I just have to say, Sony's camera quality reigns supreme. Now, I've only tried Sony, Panasonic, and Canon, but Sony just does a much better job in my personal experience. Uh, today is Tuesday, October the 3rd. It is technically my second day of fall break. In my district, we are getting a fall break, and it's two weeks, and I low-key forgot about it. Although, you would be wondering how I did because given all the plans that I have during for the next two weeks. So yesterday though, I didn't have any plan. Um, and I think we spoke on the first when we were heading to maybe my little cousin's, maybe we were heading to brunch and then we went to my little cousin's birthday dinner. Then yesterday was the second and I lied in bed until like 10 or 11. Then I got up because my husband takes care of the dog before he goes to work, which gives me more time to lie in bed since I'm off of work. And so I finally got up and I started deep cleaning the whole house like a mad person. I got rid of the setup that I had for the brunch and we brought in our regular breakfast nook table here. And I even decorated for fall a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's see, can you see? You can at least see this little pumpkin here. And there's a pillow over there and my, some, you know, I've been decorating. So that's what has been happening. Now it's time for me to plan my week because my week isn't planned. So yeah, that's what I did yesterday. Oh, and my husband, last year, if y'all remember, my husband did this Secret Santa gift exchange, which was like his first one. But it was so chaotic because they were giving gifts to their Secret Santa person each day, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then on Friday, they gave a grand prize. And so I just took over that for my husband because I love stuff like that. And I got... Ms. Green, who I don't know, a bunch of amazing things. I went well over budget. I think the budget was 25. I probably ended at 150. I just was going ham because we don't really do a lot of Christmas things. And so anyway, 
Y'all know how we feel about that. So we did that. And then Ms. Green actually won Teacher of the Year. And so he got an email, my husband, on Friday afternoon after work at like 5. Of course, he didn't check it until Sunday night after the dinner. And by that time, I like I didn't have anything to give to her. We don't have cash. So I said, I'll just take care of it in the morning. I, I mean, I'll bring it. I'll bring you the gift to her before their parade that they were having for her, which was in the afternoon. So I took it during my husband's lunch and also took him some leftover food from brunch that I held here so that he could have lunch. So I did that yesterday. But outside of that, <laughs> that's, that's literally the only reason why I went out is because it was too late for him to do that himself. And so I went out and got her something and a card and all that stuff and took him lunch. And then I came back and I proceeded to lounge around and you know, just clean a little, like I just was doing dishes and I was taking a break and I was decorating and I, I just was chilling. Now today, I don't want to say that I want my life to have more structure, but I do want the week to have more structure. So we're going to insert, insert planning segment here. You can tell I'm just getting up because my voice sounds funny. So today's October the 3rd at two o'clock. I'm going to play. I'm going to the gym for my activities. I do classes and workouts and activities at our gym and the first activity starts at two, which I normally can't make it to when I'm at work, but but it's from two to six. So I normally go after work, but I can go at two today. So it's already 1040. I just got out of bed and took care of the dog, like fed her, gave her some water, took her out again, um, since it's been like three and a half ish hours. Plus I liked going I like going outside and getting some air every now and again. So that's so yeah it's ten forty and then at two o'clock I'm doing that and I'll be busy at the gym until later. Then I'm probably gonna come home, maybe take a quick shower. And then my friend is in town for work. He is in he got in town yesterday and then he's in town until tomorrow after work. So basically this is my only opportunity to meet up with him and he wanted to see if we wanted to go to dinner. So we're gonna do that tonight. We're gonna go to dinner tonight around like 6.30 whenever my husband gets home from work or whatever. When he tells me he's on his way home, I'm going to leave the gym or something like that. So anyway, that's what's happening today. And then we have the rest of the week to plan. So I have my planner here. We're going to plan on an iPad. Yeah, this Sony is supreme. So we are going to plan on my iPad mini here, which is what I have been planning on. I already fallified it and all of that. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so we're going to go into good notes. I'm going to screen record this so that you guys can see it. But I'm thinking maybe I should do something first. I was thinking I might kind of close out September because I don't know if I've officially closed out September like tracked all my habits and all of that so I may have to do a few tweaks to September but then we are going to play in October together but let me do that and then I'll come right back okay so what I just did is I updated my habit tracker and so now what we need to do well I updated my habit tracker in my mood board for October no my habit tracker and my gratitude section for October, which you can see is just something that I wanted to do off camera to save time. And so now what we're going to do is update this monthly tracker because the reason why I like to do this is because I really only care about the month, <laughs> most importantly, but also we can transfer things from October's monthly to the weekly, which will make planning out our week so much easier. It might take 10 minutes. So we had the brunch at 12. We went to dinner at six. I did not go to step cardio, so I'm just gonna delete that because I didn't go. Um, today I will go to work out. And remember, I still need to update my fall break because I still have it at the wrong time. My fall break is actually this week. Remember I had it wrong? <laughs> How? I don't know, but I did. I think I just had it in my head that fall break was the next week. I don't really know why. So let's move up this stuff so it's not caught up in that. Okay. All right, so what do we need to update? All right, so today is, what's happening? There we go. Today is the second and we're gonna go to dinner. So I'm just gonna copy over this and bring it to, actually I can just copy over that whole thing because that's what I want and bring it over to Tuesday and then we're gonna put in dinner. So we're just gonna get rid of that. Dinner actually is gonna be about the same time. So that works, okay. Then Wednesday is still the same, but you know what? I did my October reset went up late. It was supposed to go up on the first 
and it went up on the second so let's just update this just for purposes of it being accurate and then we'll get into planning the week after we update this i think that's all we have to do yeah i really only care about what's happening yeah that was an october reset that was supposed to go up on saturday but <laughs> then it was supposed to go up on the first and then i ran out of time all right so we have that and then i think all of our plans are still the same yes okay so let's go ahead now what we're gonna do to plan out our week is we're gonna copy we're gonna copy this and then actually we can probably copy all of it let's copy everything and you know what I just thought of well I don't need to put it in here but I'm pretty sure on Sunday we're gonna go to where are we going we're gonna go to I think with my aunt to watch football perhaps but anyway we'll cross that bridge when we get there all right so let's resize everything at the same time mm, no we're not we're not going to resize everything at the same time we're going to resize these at the same time and see where we want to put that yeah that looks good all right so we have fall break begins today then we have dinner that would have been that's today. All right, so this is kind of messed up. Dinner is today. Fall break begun, begun yesterday. Dinner's today. This is today. And this was this day. Then we have this that we need to bring down. And it's bringing over some of the handwriting. Not to worry, just uncheck handwriting. And it will not bring over the handwriting. And then this is a Wednesday situation. And then we'll resize all of these things at the same time. And we'll just line it up. Like I'll line up these to make sure it's all about the same size. Yep, that'll work. So pool is a Thursday situation. This is a Friday situation. This is Friday. This is Saturday. This is Saturday. And this is Saturday. Okay, so let's just put that over here. That's Thursday. I think I want all the, I think I want, oops, I think I want all of those on the same side because it makes it look better. And yeah, so I want all these situations. Okay, let's fix this. So sometimes there's just an extra space that you got to get rid of. Oops, still ain't working. Okay, there's that. And then this, uh-oh, hmm. Actually, we're gonna put this one over here just so I can put that there. Is it still the same? September vlog, yeah, that's going up Wednesday tomorrow. Quarterly plan with me is going up Saturday. Oh, okay, girl. And then this is supposed to be a Saturday thing. Realistically, I don't know if I'll make it, but I might. Okay, so that those are our plans. And then I'll put it on here just in case. I'm just gonna put football because either way there's gonna be a football like my husband's either gonna watch football and sometimes I pretend to care and watch with him or he's gonna go so I'm just gonna call it football or he's gonna go with his aunt and watch football at the venue that they watch it's normally at one o'clock well football starts at one but they meet at the restaurant at 12 so we're gonna do that in the event that we go and do that Whew. All right, so this is our plan for the week. Now what I like to do is talk about the tasks and such that are associated with all of these to ensure that I get all of these things done. All right, so the first thing that I need to do this week, or not the first thing, one thing that I need to do is follow up with my husband's doctor bill because they basically didn't run it to his insurance and so I'm trying to figure out that part of it and I've been in communication with them so I'm trying to make sure that we don't have to pay a bill. I, I need to follow up with Walmart Plus because I play, I pay for Walmart Plus, but and when you do that, you're supposed to get a free delivery on anything, no matter how much it costs, even if it's like 50 cents. But mine won't let me do it unless I order $35 worth of items, which is a flaw. So I need to, like a, the system's jacked up. So I need to have them to tell me what I need to do, but it's not that important because rarely do I I normally just place Walmart orders for larger 
amounts of things, you know, for groceries for the week or something. So I'm not worried about that. I do need to buy my plane ticket for the cousin's trip that we're taking. We were originally gonna drive. My husband now uh, got the football schedule, so he is not gonna be able to go at the same time as me. And it was either I fly and he drive, or he drive and I fly, and it makes sense for me to fly because I need to be there because the Airbnb is my name, in my name, and I need to check in. So I'm gonna fly, even though I don't want to. Like, I would much prefer to drive because I don't like flying, I just do it, and him fly, which is could be a thing could be a thing I might that might be what happens I'll have to get back to you I'm very much leaning towards that um, we do need to update our car registration because I went and got our cars updated for the registration because in Georgia you do it on or before your birthday so that's done but I need to sign it and like put it put the registrations like replace the old ones with the new ones and I have like a little system that I do so we can easily access all of our car information so I need to do that but my husband has a car that has the stuff in it. So that's gonna have to wait. I need to reschedule my husband's dental appointment. I have it on here because I was gonna do it when I went to my dentist appointment, but then I rescheduled mine because they changed my time and I don't do that. So I was just gonna do it while I was there. I'm not gonna call and do this. So I'm just gonna leave it on here until I go and reschedule it when I get there. I also need to return the gold chargers that I bought for the event. I bought Silver, I bought gold first, even though I didn't think it would look good. It didn't look good. I bought silver, need to return the gold. Although it was only $1.25 a piece from Dollar Tree. So I've been considering keeping gold and silver, but I really don't like the gold. So the gold is gonna have to go back. All right, so let's actually do a little back, back planning. So yesterday I needed to purchase, and sometimes I like to just back plan, not a whole bunch, just to remember what I was doing and when and all that. I don't know, it was a thing for me. Purchase gift for Ms. Green. Okay, that is something that I already did. So that's my idea of back, back planning. <laughs> all right, what I need to do is clean the laundry room, like something serious, which I've been doing on and off. I need to do the dishes something seriously, which I've been doing all on and off. For the brunch that I hosted, we used real utensils, real plates, real cups. And so we just had a million more dishes and my cousin cooked here. So we had, if you could see, you can't see, but I've been doing dishes for the past couple days because they are insane. Um, what else do I need to do? Decorate for fall, I wanna do that. Decorate for fall, all right. Then, what else do I need to do? Come on, this is not working out for me. Decorate. <laughs> I don't like that first L. Okay, decorate for fall. So normally I do the personal things, then I do work things, then I do business things. So I don't really, I don't think I'm doing anything for work this week, cause why would I do that? But you know what I also had to do during this week? All right, this is also a back plan too which was edit, no, it was already edited. No, edit October reset and publish October reset. This is a back plan, okay? This is something that I've already done. I'm just doing this for purposes of this video and sometimes I do like to do this just to kind of see what all I've gotten accomplished for a week. So we're gonna copy that and paste that because why would we write it twice? We wouldn't, we would never do that. Oh shoot, wrong button. Oh my gosh. Paste again, and then we're gonna check off that. All right, so also this week, we need to film the quarterly plan with me. Okay, we need to edit it. We don't have to do that either. We can come up here and copy this edit and copy this publish and paste it. And then we can copy this and paste it twice. And then since the next video is my September vlog, we need, we already have that film. So we just have to edit it and publish it like such. And you know what I need to do? This is also edit September vlog. 
I just got a brand deal. I just secured a brand deal and I need to send over my script, which is cool because I'm working with a brand that I've worked with before. So I can kind of just tweak the previous script, make sure everything is still relevant. So that shouldn't be long uh, or shouldn't take long. So let's just do this. Mm, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to move that up a wee bit to make more room. So I need to, I needed to sign the contract. Still something I need to do technically, even though I reviewed it. And then submit a script. I have a couple days to do that. It's not that big of a deal, but that, that is something that I want to do. All right, what else do I need to do this week? Let's go flip to here. Call, fix the patio ceiling. That would be cool if we could do that. <laughs> Are we going to do that though? Buy, ooh, these. Let's see if we can copy these over, actually. Oh, you know what else I need to do? Buy some vodka. I'm going to hang out with my friends, but I'm not drinking vodka. But um, what I need to bring is vodka because that is what I, we're each bringing something different and I'm going to bring the alcohol, even though I don't plan to drink it. So I need to buy vodka. And so I like to look at my list to see if there's anything that I need to do from the list. Pool, yeah, that's associated with that the buying of the vodkas for the little pool party thing we're having. My niece's birthday, I have that gift on here. I think I'm just gonna send her money. And then we're going to Octavia's birthday party, so I'll need to get her a gift, or I want to. And then, that's honestly pretty much it for, for really what we have to do this week. I'm trying to think. Oh, I need to blow off the patio. Like, I just need to, re I just need to clean and reset the both of the porches clean porches because I'm planning to be out there so I need to clean them, them off basically I plan to spend my fall break outside clean the porches if I clean the porches and reset them do the laundry and do the dishes and decorate for fall this house will be in good shape because there's a junk room that I'm not, I need to clean the closet. That's the other thing I need to do. Clean the closet. It's a hot mess. Clean closet. If I do those things, is what I was trying to say in my head, I will feel accomplished. Okay. I also want to clean out cars, both of them. So I'm gonna take my car and clean it out, then I'm gonna take my husband's car and clean it out. So I'm gonna do both of those. I'm trying to think about if there's anything I need to do for next week for, I like to be prepared. Like buy tickets for the play, that's on there. That will be something that I need to do in preparation for next week. You know what I also need to do? I am going to be going to a planner meetup. I need to go do some research to see how many table mates I'm going to have and then buy them gifts. So I need to kind of like research table mate gifts and buy them. So I'm just going to put buy table mate gifts. I have no idea what I'm getting, but if I'm going to order something or whatever, like from online or something or make something, I need to start working on that now. Let's highlight the things we can do today or sooner rather than later. This is what we're going to work on first things first. That's how I like to plan because I'm not going to be able to do all this stuff. I mean, you know, it sounds good, but I have three hours. so. I could well have technically like two hours, two and a half hours. So I'm probably going to leave early to return the gold chargers. So I'm probably about to go do the dishes, clean the porches and decorate for fall, submit my script and return the gold chargers. So I think that's the order in which I will carry out. But let's add a little decor because like what even is, yeah, let's go find some decor to add. Let's just copy all of this and bring it over and see if we want to use any. I'm covering up the button, but I don't think it matters because I think it'll still, yeah, it does matter actually. <laughs> it does matter. I'm covering up that button, but it's okay because I can just swipe here and then click here if I really want to, to go back to the main page. All right. So that is going to be our weekly plan with me. Obviously it took a, lo a little bit longer than expected, like 20 minutes apparently because I was talking through it, but for the most part, it didn't take that long. Now I feel like I have some direction and guidance in life, which is great. So yeah, I think I'm going to go clean. 
I might watch a few videos first on my phone and then go clean. I don't know, maybe not. I might just go clean now. Anyway, uh, that's today. So I will check in with you guys at a later date. I just had the most annoying time at Dollar Tree. So for the bachelorette brunch situation, I purchased gold chargers, even though I knew in my gut that they probably wouldn't look that good and that silver would be better. But when I had gone to Dollar Tree, they didn't have many silver. They only had a few and they had a bunch of gold and I didn't feel like running around. So one thing that you should know about me is every now and again, I'll purchase something that I have to send back. But if I send something back, I don't purchase things that I'm anticipating having to return, meaning that I try to think purchases through before making a purchase. Sometimes I have to take things back because they broke or there was it was sent and it was broken or, you know, something on the the company or the, the shipping company's part, not so much on my part. So what I'm trying to say is that I bought the gold ones knowing full well that I might have to return them. And then I bought the silver ones because the gold ones didn't look good. And I just went to Dollar Tree to return the gold ones, except I was told I can't return. I can only do an exchange. So I'm like, okay, do you want me to go find, like, am I to go find like 12 random things since I'm returning 12 items for the, the same price for $1.25? And he's like, yeah. So I go find 12 random things. I'm walking all over Dollar Tree. Of course, I'm trying to think through what is upcoming, you know, like what's coming up next? What can I buy that's not in vain? Because I'm not going to buy just random stuff. And so I bought some stuff <laughs> and then I come to the front and he's gone so another person's checking me out but he you know anyway she's like it can't be food items but he's didn't say that and he was basically trying to tell me he didn't know is what I'm trying to say but she was like it can't be food items so I went to go return some some of the food items that I was going to get to purchase actual items it was a lot but I got a bunch of random stuff I got some Ziploc bags which I do need I got some Tupperware which we do need like I didn't buy stuff that was dumb anyway I'll check in with you guys later it is the day that I'm supposed to be editing this September vlog and the day that you guys are supposed to be seeing this September vlog but I just have to say that I accidentally deleted the footage half of the footage for the month because the first clip that I have is of me talking about how it's the day after my birthday, which would mean that it was September the 16th. And I can't even. Now, to be fair, on my birthday is I vlogged the whole day on my birthday. I probably got like an hour and some worth of footage. And I put that into a vlog all by itself entitled like my birthday vlog or something. First time I vlogged all day on my birthday or vlogged my birthday, I believe. To that extent, especially. And that day was filled with a lot of things. And that was going to take up mo most of the vlog anyway. Like meaning that of all the vlogging that I did in September, most of it was done on my birthday. And that if I would have put it in this September vlog, it would have taken up pretty much all of the vlog because it was so long and so I guess what I'm trying to say is I didn't really have that much footage or that many clips just in general but yeah I straight up just deleted it but instead of rambling on about it I'm going to cut this video here remember if we jump to like the second the third the fourth or something then I recovered the footage if we are in September 16th or somewhere around there or you know you're not seeing that much footage between the first and the 15th then it's because <laughs> the 16th is where we are having to pick up because i was not able to recover the footage hey so <laughs> something told me i was messing this up slightly so to slow cook or on, on low it would take six to eight hours i ain't got that kind of time that would put me at 10 o'clock a little too late or high three to four hours that i can get behind so we are going to make this now at four o'clock and then it'll be ready by seven ish. Yeah, that's mm, mm, probably should have figured that out first. Also, I want to say this is low carb, but the reason why I'm putting my own spin on it is because I am going to add some carbs, just not that much. Basically, you know, it's just not going to be a super carb heavy chili, which some 
can tend to be some not so much but we need to get started on this and hopefully have it in the slow cooker within like the next 20 minutes preferably so we can eat dinner at a normal hour happy friday i should know that or should i no i should know that but i should know that it's october the 6th because it is i'm trying to get away from the bright light in the back but that's that's not giving because it's my niece's birthday and we just got off the phone and i sent her a gift and all that so yeah my niece is i have a bunch of nieces and nephews if you didn't know that but one in particular had a birthday today she turned 19 so asked her, i was gonna send her money anyway i asked her what she wanted and she said money which is cool because if she wanted a particular gift i may have like for her 18th i got her some airpod pros or whatever so if she wanted an actual gift i would have gotten her one but otherwise selfishly i prefer giving money in any kind of cash equivalent gift because i don't have to think about being sentimental because i feel like a gift that you're only going to get two gifts for me one that's super personalized and customized and maybe i heard you talking about it and how you needed it or whatever and so like i'll go the extra mile or it's going to be cash those are the only two gifts that i give but anyway i'm here to report that um i spent the last three days doing what i am calling an ultimate plan with me for which i have filmed all of that and so because of which i got two videos out of the deal and i also kind of like three because the other video that i filmed was a result of that too so essentially at at the filming of this video right now on October the 6th I have three videos which three videos to me is the equivalent of a week and a half of footage or content because I will post one tomorrow and then the other two next week because I put out two videos per week I am too so three videos to me is a, a week and a half of content which is grand so I'm really happy to have gotten ahead with content which means that technically I don't have to film for another week and a half however I am going to, my plan is to kind of stay ahead of the game. So my plan is to try to be two videos ahead moving forward, or at least, at least one video ahead. I don't know. It's not that difficult to produce the type of videos that I produce because they're not like super high quality or anything. <laughs> they're just basic, which I'm glad that a lot of people tell me they appreciate that because that's the only content I can create. You guys, I don't really have the skill set, the energy, the bandwidth to do anything other than what I'm doing. Like basically if I'm not already doing it in real life and choosing to film it, then it is probably not going to be a video. Meaning if I have to come up with some brand new idea or do something that's not a part of my everyday regime, every week regime, monthly regime, it's probably not going to happen. But uh, yeah, that's what I've been up to. So I'm trying to decide. My husband came home for his lunch break. He is at work, but the kids are not there. If that makes sense. Like it's like a teacher work day. <laughs> the kids are on fall break actually already. But he came home for his lunch break because during these times they give like an hour and a half for a lunch break. I think the purpose is to kind of link up with your teacher friends or whatever and go have lunch, which is something they never do because they can't leave campus otherwise and do that whole thing. And then they... You know, I don't know. That's just, it seems to be, that's a routine. So he had like an hour and a half break. We don't live far from his job. So he came home and we hung and talked to my niece and my great niece um, on the phone and all that for her birthday and such. And then he just left. So I'm trying to decide if I'm about to go to the gym or if I'm going to be productive and edit this video because we are going to Charlotte tomorrow. My friend has a birthday and we're going to go spend her you know go to her birthday party and so we really when I get up in the morning I've been getting up quite late we're gonna have a movie marathon today a movie night by the way my husband and me but in the morning although I'm, I'm kind of feeling like fellowshipping and being around people so <laughs> I was thinking oh yesterday I went and hung out at my friend's pool for what we think is going to be like the last time of the season because the pool is going to close soon so we had one last hoorah, I guess you could say. And so I kind of feel like peopling more, even though I'm going to people tomorrow. So I was lucky thinking about having like a little game night. That could be fun tonight, like an impromptu one. 
but then I feel as though I should probably not do that so I think I'm gonna not do that and tomorrow we're gonna get up what I was gonna say is I've been sleeping in taking it slow so by the time I get up tomorrow it's basically gonna be time probably to get ready and to leave we need to leave about one to make it there on time because it's in Charlotte and you know Charlotte traffic so we'll stay a few hours and then come back so we'll be gone for probably like eight hours perhaps something like that the equivalent of a work day I guess you could say so that's happening tomorrow but um yeah I think I'm going to edit this video so I don't have to so I can have it ready for tomorrow that would be ideal but I don't feel like editing I feel like going to work out so we'll have to see I also want to get my eyebrows started so I'm kind of thinking about going to do that today, but I feel like that's asking a lot. So I think I'm just going to edit this video and I will check back in with you guys at a later date. Tuesday, October the 10th is the second day of my husband's fall break in the last day because he goes back to work tomorrow, but I'm still all for it the rest of this week. And so I thought I would check in. So I'm trying to get organized. Let's see if I can pull it up over here. I'm trying to get organized for the week and let me show you my to-do list. And I'll show you oh, face ID for this one. Let me ring up. Okay, it's gonna update. But wait, is it gonna be fast? Let's see. All right, this is my good notes. This is my iPad Pro, which I use as a computer whenever I attach it to the keyboard. But right now it's in its like purest iPad form and it's on this Binks um, stand, which I love. The company sent it to me and I do have a discount code. If you ever need it, just let me know. But all right, so this is where I am with this week. So what I'm gonna do now is I need to buy our um, plane ticket or my husband's plane ticket for the cousin's trip. I don't know if we're going to the play, but if so, we need to buy tickets for that. I think I'm gonna call today or maybe tomorrow to follow up about my husband's doctor bill and to potentially figure out about rescheduling his dental appointment. Um, but as you can see, I don't have a lot to do this week but I wanted to show what I'm currently up to so I purchased some stuff from Amazon which I don't really have a lot of hauls or <laughs> make a lot of purchases for like small things I feel like but I did purchase a few things so this is a daddy caddy and so I use the scrub I think I use the scrub mommy actually there's a difference and so it's this and so I purchased this little attachment so it's like a little clear thing and it's shaped like a little smiley face like the sponge and then you just put it in here so that's a new thing i'm about to wash dishes so i dug this out the trash <laughs> to show that this is my halloween costume i'm about to try on so it's a million bucks I, I felt like that would be appropriate and i've never bought a halloween costume but i'm going to a halloween party slash housewarming so i thought i might dress up and then i also got them an Amazon gift card so I just normally just put in the mail section any gift cards that we have to give to people so I'll keep that over there I also got lady some of these dental treats which I love these for her they're pretty expensive but I pretty much give them to her every day so I'm going to give her one of those and then I'm going to a planner meetup this weekend and I was looking up what gifts I would buy for my table mates you don't have to give table mate gifts at these planner events and stuff but oftentimes it's uh something that a lot of people do so it's, it's a cute thing and honestly i'm if i'm being honest it's i'm not saying as oh well, yeah am i saying this it's a little whenever everybody's giving you gifts and you don't have any it's kind of strange so <laughs> i just felt the need to get ahead of it but then you know i don't know i feel like everybody's always giving gifts and i just feel like i want to be a part of that to exchange a gift as well so the moral of the story is i bought these gratitude journals there are supposed to be seven at my table including me i don't need one so i don't have one but i bought seven of these i think these are a knockoff from the real ones which are called they are called what are they called uh the five minute journal so i think these are like knockoffs but the five minute journals are like thirty dollars and i'm like why would i buy something for thirty dollars when i can get it for ten so the only color that was on sale though for ten was this like linen color so i just got everybody the same color because the other ones would have been more expensive so anyway that is what i have for the planner meetup and i bought some gift bags and i always have a gift wrap so i'm gonna i guess at some point go ahead and um 
package these up, but I have until Saturday. And I'm about to try on this outfit. In the meantime, this costume, because I ordered it in advance so I can make sure it fits and stuff. So I'm gonna give the dog a treat, try on the costume, and then, honestly, I'm really just getting up and getting started for the day. We've been in bed. So I'll probably do like a chore or two, and then I'm going to work out. Christmas is already out. There's very little Thanksgiving stuff here. So there's that. Christmas is in full effect. Just left home goods and I got what I went in for. But she wrapped them up so good that I'll have to wait until I get home <laughs> to show you. But I can show you these candles that I got. So, uh, okay, there we go. In our entryway, there is, I have two candlesticks. And I felt like these would warm up the space a little bit. Because the candlesticks are white sitting on top of a white entryway table so I felt like this would warm up the space a bit and why not for $5.99 I don't think I'd ever burn these so I think you know it's not like six dollars down the drain necessarily because I think I'm just gonna these will just be a part of my fall decor and I don't burn them and then of course when I was checking out I found some candy and anything about low sugar low carbs or whatever I am your girl so these are keto friendly plant-based no out sugar alcohols good source of fiber less sugar no synthetic color so these are supposed to be it these actually probably i mean these were 5.99 so they were about as expensive as everything i think everything that i bought was 5.99 i bought four things i ended up getting two uh soap dispensers because i was thinking the one at target which there was one that looked essentially exactly like that from online anyway i hadn't gone into target to see it but it was like 10 bucks and I don't think it came with soap and that one came with soap or this one and then I got another one that also came with soap so that was kind of a no-brainer because they're ceramic and they come with soap so I can keep using them year after year so I have I'm gonna put one in our bathroom and then one in the guest bathroom and that'll be that so candles they had a bunch of candles they smelled good I was living for them except the issue is I wasn't too sure about them and they're pretty expensive so I mean candles are kind of expensive anyway but to pay like $15 for a little candle I mean it's pretty small maybe like this big um and I don't really know if it's gonna work well enough for me I just felt like why be bothered with that when I can go with what I already know now the cool thing is candle day is coming up in December it is typically the first Saturday in December Although Bath and Body Works will not advertise it as such. And they wait until last minute, which is chaotic. Because, like, why? <laughs> we all know it's the first Saturday in December. So, Candle Day is coming up. So, I will be able to get candles. You can get those $25 three-wick candles on sale with coupons and everything for, like, less than 10 bucks, Like, $9 and some change. So, I am planning on getting some candles then, but by December something, fall will pretty much be over. So, I'll be getting like a couple, maybe one or two Christmas candles because I do have one or two at home. I'll probably get a number of spring candles and like summery candles. I'll probably get like 10 candles. It's probably spend like 100 bucks on candles, but I'm just getting a couple to last me until then. Now, I don't burn, I haven't been burning candles a whole ton because it costs a bunch of money to to buy candles of course I could try to make I feel like I can always make something you know I can always DIY anything the the world is mine the world is yours when it comes to DIYing things yes it might be annoying it might take up time but like in essence everybody can DIY some stuff so I guess what I was trying to say is of course I can DIY candles but I don't want to so I just buy them and yeah all of that to say, we're heading to at home, and we're going to run in and see if they have those candles. Again, they have the small ones. I don't want those. I want the bigger ones. I don't want ones, period. I want one big candle. Or maybe I might get a couple little ones to put upstairs. But, I like, they're on sale. So, like, in a perfect world, I would get a small one and a large one, and that's $20. And just like that, I will have spent almost 50 bucks today this is why you should stay inside you know but it's fine i guess <laughs> only time will tell if it's actually fine or not <laughs> god's favorite i went in there what's the first thing that i see a bunch of candles in the sale and all that and i'm scanning them because i know what this one looks like and i find it and it was a little bit difficult to find it but they literally had one they didn't have any smaller ones 
just this large one. When I, when, by the time you see this video, you're gonna be like, this candle won't matter to you because you won't probably be able to buy it because they'll already have taken over with the Christmas stuff, which is what they're doing. They have a bunch of Christmas candles by this brand, but for the Thanksgiving ones or whatever, fall, they're getting them out of there. Although Christmas is like barely in the winter. I just feel like we need to, it depends on where, you, I, well, it doesn't depend on where you're at because winter starts where winter starts at any place in the United States or whatever. But some people do have different weather. Like it doesn't snow in Georgia, but where I'm from, it snows. Anyway, this is a candle. I have one downstairs. Now I'm going to have one upstairs. I'm over the moon. I love it. It's called Harvest Apple. I don't know that I love the Harvest Apple as much as I love this brand, which is Signature Fall Collection. That ain't, what is that? That can't be the brand. Oh, here we go. Oh, I guess the brand is at home. Duh. The brand is at home. So, that, does that not make sense since I was just in, um, just in at home? But I thought it had a certain brand, but maybe not. Girl, today has been a mess, okay? I'm trying to make it to this planner event. What is happening? Okay, so first of all, I slept for like 10 hours last night, which isn't super unusual, but I just really didn't. I wasn't really counting on that. So yeah, I didn't even wake up until 10 o'clock. The event starts at 12. You knew I wasn't gonna make it there on time, okay? I knew I wasn't gonna make it there. So I've been trying to help my, so first of all, pause, let's back up, let's rewind. This is me discombobulated, if you've, if you've ever wondered. A lot of people tell me that my videos are calming and relaxing, I love that. However, this is me in shambles, but, even when I'm in shambles, I have the capacity to kind of like reel it in. Let me know if you know that song. So this is me reeling it in, in real time. Let's start from the beginning. I woke up at 10. I already had my outfit picked out in my head. I had, I literally only have one outfit that I could, that even could pass as a, a Tiffany's type of outfit. And I have this crown, so I love that for me. Um, and then I have this black top with like these little ruffles and then I have a black pleated kind of like an A line skirt I don't know I'm not a fashion person and then I have some sparkly shoes and then I have like accents of silver because that's appropriate even though I'm a gold girly but I woke up at 10 and the thing is I was kind of prepared for what today might bring like I already knew what I would bring and pack and all that and I had my table mate gifts packed up but I wanted to put like a custom sticker on there because why wouldn't I? Because I know how to make all types of custom things with my machines. And I'm a crafty person like that. And I was going to like, custom that's why I bought white bags because I wanted to customize like a cute little sticker tag situation. So that's why I did that. But my stuff was not working right last night and Everything was annoying because I had the old version of Silhouette, so I had to update Silhouette and then I had to update my computer so it can match that because otherwise there's like a lag and it's a hot mess. Where are we going? We'll go this way. And it's a hot mess. And then um, I just gave up basically last night because I was annoyed and sleepy. So I went to sleep with the expectation that I would wake up relatively early today. The lie detector determined that was a lie.
some expensive perfume. So basically, I I more than got my money back from the whole shenanigan because of all the gifts that I have. If I didn't mention it, that's a Starbucks gift card. Those are cute little bags that I'm going to recycle. And then that's a sticker book from Life Organized from Paper House. I think that's sticker storage. I'm keeping Hildy's book because she gives us a lot of books and one day I'll read them. And then some stickers for reading that I think I'll probably give to my friend or something. And then I'm keeping this too because I have to because it says I don't have to. I really don't need it, but I kind of have to keep it because I can take it to all things crafting and planning. And I think that's it. There is nothing that I hate more than getting up and going to work. Like of all the things in life to hate, Leaving my bed to go to work is at the top of the list, easily. Happy Tuesday, it's October the 17th. We're a little over halfway through the month. And, um, you know, <laughs> I went back to work yesterday after having off of work for like two weeks. So that was not that fun, but it wasn't a bad day though. So I love that. Um, I came home and cleaned a lot, particularly our closet, especially my husband's side, because it's a wreck and it looked like it could need my <laughs> shaping. It just look, needs a little shaping. Y'all know that little thing. My guy's first football game is today. And then instead of the other one being on Thursday, it's actually going to be tomorrow. So I'm going to attempt to <laughs> go to all of his games. It's only like in the grand scheme of things, two, four, six. It's like 10. 10 is a lot because it's like hours. They normally play two teams each time they play. So it's like three hours maybe in total worth of football so I'm not really too excited about that but I'm gonna try to make it to all of them of course I won't make it to the one next Thursday because we are going to a cousin's trip and on a cousin's trip and I am actually we planned it before we knew his schedule so he's gonna have to catch a flight early the next morning to to us so we got that flight using credit card points so that's cool happy hump day we know it's hump day because I took myself well I went and got food. So on hump day, I decided this year, it's like a little pick me up to make it through <laughs> through, through my days. So on Wednesdays, I go get myself something to eat. Or one time I even, one time this school year, I went and ate with someone. So I don't go to lunch with people. I don't even know who I would go to lunch with. You know, everybody's either at work and they're far away, like people who I don't work with. And then the people who I do work with, they are also far away you know it's just a lot so i don't go to lunch with people you know i feel like i've worked jobs where i went to lunch pretty much every day with people or you know frequently throughout the week and then i've worked jobs where i couldn't leave for a lunch break so this is the first time though i am doing this whole situation so yeah i pack my lunch every other day but on wednesdays as of this school year I go get something to eat. So I just went to this pulled pork place that I recently discovered and I got some barbecue, like pulled pork kind of. It comes with bread, but I'm not going to be eating that. I ordered two sides. So I got green beans and collard greens because they're low carb and I love them both. And then it comes with hush puppies, which are so good. And I have my Coke Zero, of course. I always bring my own drink from home, like insane, right? And then I have a built bar that which Built Bar is actually going to send me some Built Bar, so we love that. This is the Built Bar. I recently ordered the Cookies and Cream. It's 180 calories, real chocolate, 100% chocolate, zero guilt. 100% real chocolate, zero guilt. Cute. 100% taste. 17 grams of protein and 4 grams of sugar. So, these are really good. They also have a bunch of other ones. I have been loving this one i normally order a box probably like every few months and is this a puff no this isn't a puff they have these puff ones which kind of are like marshmallow-ish in nature on the inside anyway uh that's what's happening but i had to tell you guys last night my husband ate down actually not my husband though i though he did eat his team ate down so let me tell you something They've been like at school talking about a flag football team for forever. And so my husband finally was like, I'll do it. A big feat. So first of all, their jerseys and all of that has have not arrived. So he literally went out and bought t-shirts for all of the 
players and made shirts for them because the bare minimum <laughs> requirement is that the shirts or the jerseys have to have a number on them, but then that's pretty much it. So there are other teams in the district who have been at this for like a couple years, but this one is brand spanking new, okay? Brand new. So not only that, he bought all their flags. He bought everything out of pocket. I have a total of how much he has spent on this, and it's, it's a lot. Like, it's, it's a bunch of money. Some things he'll be able to send back because, like, he bought more things than needed because he was anticipating having a larger amount of players. So he can send some things back because they're literally not used. And some a lot of things came from Amazon and stuff. And some stuff he bought and he didn't use, but he just bought it just in case. But yeah, uh, the jerseys didn't come in time, come in in time. So he made all the shirts and all the things. And I just love that. He fed them yesterday, which when I was playing sports, we didn't eat before a game. We ate after the game. Everyone, didn't matter what sport I played. So this whole eating before is new to me for sure. But... um he spent a bunch of money on this. Let's just be clear about that. But we went out to support them last night as they played their first game. So how this works is that they always play two games. Each team, which there's technically three, they each play two games, if that makes sense. So his team, in the jer in the uniforms that they had, which were not as nice and fancy as the other people's and all that, so they looked, I'm not going to say they didn't look good, because they actually did, but the other people's uniforms were, like, super polished and clean, okay? So they went out, and they they were a force to be reckoned with. They beat the first team 0-14. to 14. They beat the second team 0-20. to 20. That's insane, and everybody was like, dang, I didn't know y'all were capable of such. Now, the girls before the game were already talking a bunch of mess about how they were not worried about the other players and that they were going to beat them and I'm like I'm hoping y'all can back up all that barking that y'all are doing I hope the bite is as vicious as this bark and it was <laughs> so they won both games it was off to a little bit of a rocky start but I was thinking like this is their first ever game first whatever the first game was off to a rocky start and I was thinking of course they'll find their way and their defense which he said they only had 12 players all the other teams had like 25 <laughs> players so he had to use the same girls for offense and defense but their defense was on point hello happy friday october 20th first of all i've lost my voice over the last couple days because i've been outside yelling and screaming for the flag football team who is three and one so i love that for them anyway we are hungry we haven't been to restaurants but i think once this month and then i went with a friend so we haven't really been to restaurants a lot. So we looked up this restaurant because we're hungry and want some food and don't want to eat what's at home. And we looked up this five-star restaurant. <laughs> and I got to show you the five-star restaurant. <laughs> this is the five-star restaurant, but it is highly rated. And apparently they have like cheesesteaks and cheesecakes. So right up my alley. We, what is that my house? We're about to go try this food so I'll let you know how it goes in the event that you want to try it but I was just looking up restaurants and I did look up top rated ones not to find ones that are super expensive but to find ones that are good and high quality and this popped up so let's go see what it's about so here's the food I guess you have to go ahead you about mm -hmm. to steal some of my fries off camera you might as well do it on camera show who you really are I'm not gonna eat all those but um this is the five star food and people were ranting and raving about it in the line. So you basically order it and then outside. Yeah, and go. Window. Like you can't eat inside. We didn't I don't did you It's like you walk up to the outside window and order I didn't. I was not prepared for that yet, so mm -hmm. I was thinking I could have kept my pajamas on. Um but I got a regular Philly cheesesteak. They I guess are like a master of cheese steak and cheesecake. But they didn't have any New York style cheesecake. They were out. And my next option, because I didn't want, what, they have like sweet potato cheesecake? I don't do none of that, I don't think. Um, I think they do a red velvet cheesecake. Oh, yeah, they do. I, I didn't like want to try that. Oh, you but. probably would like it. I didn't want it. I love a New York style cheesecake. It's one of my favorite desserts. And then, the, it's probably my favorite one. And then the next option that I would have liked was peach cobbler, but they didn't have that. So, I got a regular cheesesteak, some fries. It came with a soda because I got a meal. And then my husband got 
A steak sauce cheesecake. A steak sauce cheesecake. It looks the same. I don't say it looks the same. It ain't really worth getting it out, but yeah. Ooh, this camera footage is superb. Saturday, October the 21st, and I'm here at the first activity for the weekend. So I'm here at the parade. My husband actually came earlier because he had to help, help set up. But I'm here now in my chair. I even brought out my chair, and so he's gonna come watch it with me. And then the game starts at two. But we ha we know people who tailgate, so we might, the plan is to you know visit and maybe take part in their festivities. But I'm sure I'm being copyrighted, so I'll talk to you guys later. City of mine, how I love, how I love your city of mine. My husband's school's homecoming is one of the most ethnic things that I have ever seen year after year. The parade is very much ethnic. The homecoming game is ethnic. We just left a game. My mother-in-law joined us. Yeah, my friends are around the corner, so we're going to wait for her. I'm going to eat, head to the party, and then... I'll check in with you guys at a later date, probably tomorrow. Hello and happy November. Isn't that crazy how much? Anyway, November the, what am I talking about? I can't, it's October something. <laughs> it's October the 23rd. Is it October 23rd? It's October 23rd. I just got home and filmed two videos, one sponsor, so I need to, but it's like a low key sponsor ship type of video which i love those low-key sponsor videos so i need to edit and submit that preferably today and then i have another video that i need to be working on editing but it's fine if i don't get it well i do kind of have to edit it rather rather quickly because it's a it's a um I need to do a voiceover. The moral of the story is um we're going out of town for our first cousin's trip first annual cousin's trip i guess in you know a couple days so i needed to film wednesday's video which happens to be sponsored which is a little late because i was waiting on this other i was waiting on this other sponsor that kind of fell through essentially so i just i had this like backup sponsor just because it's just an easy sponsor and i can just kind of let them know that i not that i want them to sponsor the video but that i kind of kind of that so that is happening i'm all over the place because i have to get all these things done and i have a meeting at 6 30 in an hour so i'm going to try to edit the sponsor video and get it to them in an hour it's asking a lot but you know it's worth a shot so that's what i'm up to i'm trying to edit the sponsor video get it to them by 6 30 then i love the way this camera is chef's kiss even though i already had to send it to get repaired because they had broken technically after like a month. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. So I'm trying to get, I need, I'm trying to get this video edited at least, at least almost finished before this meeting that I have online with my financial social work colleagues with the advisory team. And then I would like to submit the video to the brand so they can review it possibly either tonight or tomorrow. If not, then well, yeah, they kind of have like a day turnaround. That's why it's an easy sponsor. And then I can go live with the video on Wednesday, which is the plan. And then I'm going to spend some time trying to edit this other video for Saturday when we're out of town. Technically, I could, you know, I'm not doing any editing when I'm out of town. That's crazy. But I could like create the thumbnail and do some back end things. But I'm not going to be deep into editing videos when I'm on a trip with my cousins who I haven't seen in so long, which was the purpose of us creating this trip. So that's happening. I did confirm dog boarding, pick up and drop off. So that's good. She's going to send me the invoice so I can pay. My husband's at basketball practice or football practice. So he'll be home later. Tomorrow we have a football game. He is the head coach for the girls flag football team. It's their first year ever and that's been going quite well they're currently three and one so i love that for them last week was their first week and they played two games each day and twice per week so they already played four games so that's happening so he'll be home by the way i keep the fireplace mm -mm. come on we can do it i keep the fireplace <laughs> the fireplace youtube video thing going in the background makes it kind of cozy so he'll be doing oh so we have football tomorrow 
and I have my workout class, which I might have to skip if I'm not quite prepared. And then Wednesday is the last day that I have to kind of get myself together for this trip. So I have to pack and all the things because I'm heading out Thursday morning. And then my husband will join me Friday morning very early like before we're all up I'm sure so he'll kind of miss like an evening check-ins at four and I'm the person who booked it so I do need to be there for check-in on Thursday and then whenever everybody else starts rolling in they'll roll in so like maybe I could potentially might have some time to myself on the Thursday at the Airbnb but it's doubtful so that's why I'm going ahead and getting all of my content out the way and whatever I don't get accomplished and fit it you know I just don't get it done Good morning. I gotta make this quick because I'm deciding to do this while I'm at this red light and my song is on because you know me and Roddy Rich go together real bad. Moral of the story is yesterday I applied these new nails and oh my god I am shook. So I had been seeing these on YouTube and they're pretty expensive. They're like $35 a pack and you get like a hundred or, or I think 300 nails. So it's just way more expensive than my normal packs which have the same amount but are not pre-designed and are plain and clear and are like ten dollars but anyway i just dropped off the dog my husband's at home getting ready to go to work of course and i am hitting the road to head to virginia beach for our cousin's trip so that's what's happening with me i just wanted to pop on here before i hit this interstate and share with you my whereabouts so yeah we're at headed to Use virginia beach to merge onto i-20 east toward augusta which is a local place for it's kind of like a central location rather I should say most of the people are up north only a few of us are coming from this far south although I don't consider Virginia to be you know super northern or anything but central location and we kind of all hail from that area just that's where our family is rooted and stuff so that is what is happening and remember um, my husband has football games today so he didn't want to miss those so he will have to the next flight that he could catch is at five o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning so he'll arrive in virginia at 8 a.m i'll pick him up from the airport or he can uber in or whatever but um that's when he's arriving so <laughs> everybody else is pretty much on the road or about to be or whatever but we do have my husband who will arrive tomorrow but i am getting on the interstate now i will talk to you later so i'm here in virginia beach let me give you a little tour this is our room so i've decided that this will be mine and hubby's room, so that's what it looks like. I haven't actually gone to see. I imagined, yeah, I imagined that was a bathroom, so like we kind of have our own bathroom. I paid no more for this technically than anyone else, but I feel like we already decided on the types of rooms we would stay in, like who would stay in the king bedroom and who would stay in the twin room and all that, and we are gonna be in a queen room, so I just felt like this would be most appropriate there is this little day bed situation over here which i guess is kind of like a little room um yeah it has a tv then this is the exciting part the pool is open not only is the pool open by the way we're right on the beach and i have my house shoes on the, not only is the pool open although it's too cold to get in it we do have a jacuzzi and like an outdoor so we knew the pool would be closed it said it in you know in the description or whatever but we thought we might still find it appropriate to kind of take advantage of at least the jacuzzi in the outdoor area and you know the pool even just the view and the space back there you know that kind of thing so that's what's happening outside and then this is where i guess the magic happens if you will let me grab my water uh i'll grab my purse too because i don't know if i'll be back down here for referral so we go up the steps and then we get to the <laughs> the portion of it that doesn't look too shabby. First of all, I have the music on. Alexa, stop. Don't want to get copyrighted. So let me give you a little tour. There's a little balcony here. Apparently a doggy lives here. Maybe they have that in case people bring pets, which would have been so cute and fun. But a balcony with one, two, three, four, five chairs, and we can bring more. So that's fun. I have it airing out because it smells. It smells. So let's just leave it at that. Living room is cute, love it. The island area is cute. I did stock the fridge with a few items, AKA some alcohol and some mixers and champagne. And then this is above the pool. 
basically another little balcony which is cute this is why we got this big home so we could all fit comfortably this is the dining area and then over here if i'm being honest i haven't really taken a look around oh this has bunks and then a queen so i don't know who will sleep in here we have plenty of room another bathroom full bath oh they have some little they said they'd have little toiletries and stuff that's cute and then we have another little bedroom over here with a closet and tv and so that's where we came up from that's the pool kitchen living room and the balcony so if we go straight i think this is five bedrooms and we go left here we have a room with a big old mirror so i love that for whosoever room that is we have a bathroom here Let's see if we can turn it on you know i'm not good at house tours or any <laughs> vlogging period i imagine this is the bathroom Oh, cute this is the bathroom oh this is the master we're gonna put our one cousins here now technically my cousin gets married in December so technically we're the only people married so you would think we might get the king but I'm just gonna give this to them their own little sweet situation because they actually live close by and they still pay the same amount that we paid and I just feel like why not give them the king bed and and they be comfortable and all that so we are going to give them this king bed room. So this will be their space. So yeah, a couple up here and then a couple downstairs and then everybody else can kind of get in where they fit in. To me, it makes the most sense. Either me and my husband could be up here or vice versa, but I feel like they can just stay there. Why not? Who cares? I don't care. It's a dresser here, by the way. Yeah, to me, that makes sense. Couple kind of off to their own here and then one downstairs and then everybody else can kind of be where they're going to be. But yeah, this is the Airbnb. I think it's super cute. It is currently 4.30. Um, three cousins will be here at 5. One will be here at like 5.30. One will be here at 6. We have cousins coming tomorrow. All the things. So yeah, I don't know. You probably won't hear from me until... Let me set you up. Hold on. I was trying to find something like eye level to me <laughs> to put you on. That's the refrigerator. So yeah, that's kind of what's happening. It's a little hot a little warm for a hoodie and a jacket but it was cold when i left georgia this morning but yeah we're here and i'm pretty excited we're gonna meet some cousins who we haven't met before and see some cousins who we haven't seen before my niece is coming my nephew might come um that's pretty much it so yeah this is where we're gonna be staying for the next three days my husband comes in the morning uh i think the boys really I think none of the boys will really be here until tomorrow, which is interesting. But yeah, I think it's cute here. I love it here. It is <laughs> October the 31st, so it is Halloween. And I just got home a little bit ago from a field trip. So I went on a field trip with um, one. So I have kids that are in one particular special education classroom, and the teacher was talking about how they're going to go on a trip and asked if I wanted to go. And I was like, absolutely. So the time finally came and we went to, it was basically like a Halloween thing kind of situation. Another class did join us. So that's why I went so we could have another body. I feel like the student to adult ratio can never be too, mm, I don't know what the word is, <laughs> too great. It can never be too great because I don't know. One thing I'm good at is always, and plus I wanted to be an additional person in case there was some type of struggle with any student they needed to retreat to the bus or something like that or whatever so I kind of just went as like the counselor on duty <laughs> essentially I had such a fun time and I think trick-or-treating starts at 5 or 5 30 so basically I'm left to kind of set up for that so I have this big bag of candy here my dog's about to come down I have 250 pieces that I ordered forever ago I was on top of things and we don't really eat candy that much so it's just been sitting here. And then I have these little baggies from Walmart. They were 97 cents each that come with a tie. So I have 20, 40, 60 of them. So my goal is I kind of did the math and I think I did 250 pieces of candy divided by 60 bags is four pieces of candy each, which I think is plenty. 250 divided by 60. 
four pieces of candy roughly. So some people might have five or I might just keep some at the house for when people come and want some candy. But I'm gonna pack four pieces of candy into each one of these bags and put a zip tie on it. And I have very little time to do that. But I have to start on it. Like we were gonna do it together because we're gonna have this whole spooky night in kind of thing. But we were, when we got back from our trip on Sunday, it was late, we got the dog, crashed and went to sleep woke up the next day which was yesterday and we had to go to work and then we had football starting at five well my husband just stays after work obviously until five and then I just come home to take care of the dog pretty much and then I just go back out when we have football games immediately and then we had football until about eight maybe eight thirty or something and then we crashed again so I'm like okay <laughs> I will try to get started on these so that's what I'm going to be working on I guess I'll just fill all the bags first and then maybe start tying them I feel like that's most appropriate so the ties are black apparently but that's what I'm up to had a good field trip had a good day so far I even have um, a fireplace on because that's been my thing I don't really like that fireplace um it's it's starting to grow on me I don't know it kind of looks kind of weird compared to the other fireplaces that I have on. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch YouTube and package these and wait for my husband to get home and then we'll pass out candy. Then we're going to watch a spooky movie and all that. And then that's going to be it for today. So I'll probably will come back tomorrow or something to close out this video. But if I do not make it back tomorrow, you know, if I don't have any other, th any other thing that I want to share on the last day of the month, then I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new and if you're liking what you're seeing. And I will catch you guys right back here in a few days in a brand new video and back here in a month for the next monthly vlog, aka the November monthly vlog. Bye guys.